Welcome back to Moving to Hampton Roads. In today's video, we're gonna do a map tour of Williamsburg, Virginia. And this video is really just designed to help give you a big picture view of the greater Williamsburg area, so that when you're watching the rest of our videos, you can put those into context a little bit better, so you have a better understanding of where we're looking and then its proximity to the rest of the area to help you better with your home search. All right, stick around and we'll get right to it. My name is David Tortellini. I'm with eXp Realty, and I help people just like you buy and sell property in Williamsburg, Virginia, and the surrounding area. This channel really exists to provide you with as much information as possible to help make your move to the area as smooth as possible. So subscribe to this channel, and then when you're ready to get started, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I'd love to help you out. All right, let's get to our video. Okay, well, let's get started by going over just where Williamsburg is in Virginia. So it's down kind of in the southeastern corner in this region that we call Hampton Roads. And Hampton Roads is really going to bring you to Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, then up on to the peninsula to Hampton and Newport News, southern York County, and then Williamsburg. So really this is Williamsburg right here. And it's the northernmost part of Hampton Roads. And it's going to really put you kind of central between Richmond and Norfolk. So you're looking at about a 45 minute commute to Richmond with no traffic and then same down to Norfolk. Now, Hampton Roads overall is made up a series of bridges and tunnels that connect everything. So down here we have the HRBT and the Monitor Merrimack. And over here, we have the Coleman Bridge that heads to Gloucester, where there is actually a toll. And then you have the James River Bridge that'll head over to Isle of Wight County. So the important thing to know about these bridges and tunnels is that if you are working down on what we call the south side and you want to live in Williamsburg, then you need to be prepared for traffic. So the HRBT in particular, while it is in the process of being expanded, that's probably not going to be done for another three or four years. Um, so probably 2026 is when they're saying it's going to be done now, and it's already been delayed. So, um, But you, if you're going to be down stationed at maybe Norfolk Naval, something like that, and you, you're thinking that you want to live in Williamsburg and commute down, just know that on a fairly regular basis, this can get backed up for 30 minutes or over an hour pretty easily just due to one fender bender that can shut down both lanes. So it can be really tough to live in Williamsburg and commute all the way down to the south side. Now, you do have options of going the Monitor Merrimack, where there's generally less traffic. It's really rare that you get stuck in more than 30 minutes of traffic there unless there's a big accident. But just general traffic, usually a 10 or 15 minute backup. Um, and then it can bring you through, you do end up having to go through some tolls. So you end up in the downtown or midtown tunnel in Norfolk that can, that can charge you tolls to get over to base. So there are some negatives about living all the way up in Williamsburg if you're down here. Now, if you are on the peninsula, maybe you're going to work down at the Newport News shipyard or you're stationed at Langley Air Force Base, which is over here in northern Hampton or at Fort Eustace, which is in northern Newport News, this can be a pretty easy commute. The highway runs very smoothly all the way down to the peninsula to these areas. So you should be in a really good spot as long as you're willing to do, you know, to Fort Eustace, you might be looking at about a 25 minute commute um, and then to Langley more like 35. So still very reasonable to be up in a nice suburb like Williamsburg. And of course, you can go the other direction to Richmond. So we find that Williamsburg is a good location for families who may have split uh, job duties where maybe one person's working in the Richmond area and the other person is working down in Newport News or Hampton. So it's about 45 minutes, give or take, to Richmond. Um, traffic there can back up a bit. So, you know, anticipate 20, 30 minutes of traffic sometimes going into Richmond. But for the most part, um, Williamsburg is really well situated. It is kind of separated from the rest of the peninsula. So this is the peninsula. This is the middle peninsula. There's where you're going to have Gloucester, Hayes, and Matthews counties. And those are going to be separated by the York River. And then you're going to have the James River over here that separates it from Surrey and Smithfield, really what we call Isle of Wight County. Um, 
And there is some separation between Williamsburg and Newport News area. Um, there's some housing and, of course, you get up to Bush Gardens and everything. So, but there isn't a whole lot going on here. And the Naval Weapons Station is huge and they have a very large, um, you know, they, they take up pretty much all the distance between the Newport News Park and what we would consider to be Williamsburg. So uh, because of those, there is a lot of separation. You know, the park create, helps create some separation, but Williamsburg does end up kind of being its own little ecosystem because of that. I find that most people who live in Williamsburg, uh, most of their social life and all the things they do, and if, especially if they can work there, really all take place in Williamsburg. There's no real reason. <laughs> a lot of those people will tell you there's no real reason to leave. So, okay, so let's talk about what Williamsburg actually is. So, when we talk about Williamsburg, we're actually talking about a combination of James City County, the city of Williamsburg, and Northern York County. So it's really going to be this whole region here when we're talking about Williamsburg. And you may be familiar with what's in the city of Williamsburg. So city of Williamsburg is going to be Colonial Williamsburg. So where we have the, the Governor's Palace and the Capitol Building, the old Capitol Building, and then William & Mary Campus in that immediate surrounding area. It's really kind of what takes place in the 199 Belt. We'll talk about 199 a little bit more in a second. But this city of Williamsburg is only about 13 or 14,000 people. So when I have people reach out to me and say, hey, I want to live in Williamsburg, they're on our website and maybe they're only searching in the city of Williamsburg. We need to expand their search to make sure it includes James City County and Northern York County. So Northern York County pretty much goes from the Naval Weapons Station and will comes kind of inside 64 here and really runs right up to the York River State Park. So a lot of it is parkland in Northern York County. So there isn't, there isn't a ton of housing in Northern York County, not relative to James City County, which is gonna go from here, kind of come outside the 199 belt and then wrap around in kind of a crescent shape to include Norge and Tawano, and then come back down. So and that's gonna of course include historic Jamestown. So if you are in the area, and you like history, you of course have the, it's called the historic triangle. You have Jamestown, Colonial Williamsburg, and Yorktown. And those are going to give you your three historic spots. And those are all going to be connected by the Colonial Parkway, which is one of the most scenic, beautiful drives you can do. I wonder if I can drop a guy on there and see if you can see it real quick. See if this works. Yeah, here we go. So there you go. You can be on... Colonial Parkway. You can live near the Colonial Parkway, ride your bike on it, or just drive it. Um, a lot of people who cycle or a motorcycle like to uh, get out on the Colonial Parkway. It's an absolutely beautiful place to be on. So we get off of that. And yeah, so then you end up having this whole area. And this really is where the majority of people in Williamsburg live, is really going to be right in this area here. You know, because Williamsburg, city of Williamsburg is taken up primarily by um, Colonial Williamsburg and William & Mary campus, then you really are not going to see a ton of housing there. There's a lot, but it's densely packed and, um, and it's mostly older. There are some really beautiful neighborhoods, you know, down Route 5 here. And, um, but there's, but immediately in the area, it is a lot of uh, you know, much older housing, a lot of people that, you know, live and work on campus, but it's a pretty special place when you can walk into Colonial Williamsburg. So if you're not familiar with Colonial Williamsburg, let's see if we can't put a guy here. Then we can get right to the Capitol building. See how close we can get. There you go. So Capitol building right here. And then this is Duke of Gloucester Street. And this runs all the way back. And these are all the historic homes and this is really quite a large region. This is just probably the main the main drag, Duke of Gloucester Street. And um, but we spend a ton of time here. You know, you can walk for ages, and you're always exploring and finding new things. And of course, it is very touristy, but that's okay too. Um, when you live here, it's kind of like being a lifelong tourist because there's just so much to learn and see and do. So get out of there. So let's just keep talking about City of Williamsburg a little bit. So. Really, this is where you can find a lot of really great dining, especially right here in Colonial Williamsburg. You're going to find things like, you know, 
There are kind of, kind of maybe some more touristy things like Mellow Mushroom, but places like the Cheese Shop are just staples of Merchant Square. So this kind of this area right here is Merchant Square, and uh, you're going to have you know. Uh, Precarious Beer Project is actually what's really right here, and that's one of the best breweries in the state of Virginia. They have a you know a taco truck that's inside that's unbelievable, and they they just bought the space next door to them too, and now they do burgers as well. So, um, and there's an arcade in there, so really family friendly area. Um, then there's just you know you get the you get the um, the colonial you know diners um, down here on Duke Gloucester Street, fun things like Dog Street Pub. Um, over in this area and Illy, and there's just a lot to do. So really just, you can be right in Colonial Williamsburg and have a great time. Ambrox, one of the best restaurants in all of Hampton Roads, just fantastic. They actually are the owners of uh, Precarious Beer Project. And there's a place called The Bake Shop that is incredible. That's right around the corner too. That's up this way. So a um, lot of really great uh, dining, shopping experiences, very touristy. So you better be ready for that. Um, if you're living here, I think maybe some people don't love to always have to deal with tourists, but you know, whatever, we all moved here for a reason. Right. And then, so, um, then you have William and Mary campus and William and Mary campus is gorgeous. Um, second oldest university in the country. Uh, Thomas Jefferson went there. John Stewart went there more modern <laughs> sort of person, but, um, really just beautiful here. All right. So you have the city of Williamsburg and then over here you have some of the housing for York County. And a lot of these neighborhoods will pop up on some of our, um, on some of our videos like Queens Lake and, uh, Cypress Creek. And then we have, you know, for fun down in this area, Bush Gardens. So Bush Gardens, huge amusement park. Most everybody who lives around here gets season passes. Uh, they're fairly reasonable. If you go like maybe three or four times, they pay for themselves and there's a lot to do. So I'm filming this in mid November. So uh, hello scream just ended and they're getting ready for Christmas town. So that should be opening here pretty soon. Um, it's something like 5 million lights, maybe more. It's insane. So it's amazing. And you have water country USA over here. So you can get packages that include both of those things. Um, and then scattered throughout are going to be golf courses. So there are seven golf courses in Williamsburg. So if you're a golfer, you don't have to worry about it. Lots of opportunity to go golfing. All right. So I mentioned Route 199 earlier, and that's this right here. And, you know, unless you're driving all the way up to the Twin or Norge area, there's a really good chance you're going to live off of 199, or that's just going to be one of the main routes that you take in your daily life, because that's really going to connect. It connects to Jefferson Ave, which runs all the way down to... Um, to Newport News, and then so the Merrimack Trail in Williamsburg. Um, and then you have Warwick, Route 60 here, and you have 64. They all connect to it. So you can be here, and then if you're driving up from Newport News or you're coming down, you're going to end up taking this in some way, shape, or form to either go in, into Williamsburg, into Colonial Williamsburg, or you're going to go out to places like Kings Mill. So down here, you're going to see Kings Mill. And this is the first of really three large golf course gated communities we'll talk about. So this is the southernmost Kings Mill resort community. You're going to get everything from $2 million waterfront to some small condos that you can also put in as part of their rental program. Um, you have the Kings Mill Marina here. So this is a huge neighborhood, uh, hundreds of homes, and really going to be your your southernmost gated golf course community. Uh, the LPGA has played there for a long time. Um, so really quality golf course. And then that's going to bring you up to the Jamestown area. So when we get to the Jamestown area, we're really talking about this road. Route, one, route 31 is Jamestown Road. And that brings you straight to the Jamestown settlement. Billsburg Brewery, fantastic brewery. And then there's a new one called the Frothy Moon that maybe has not hit um, oh, here we go. Frothy Moon right here. Um, another brewery and coffee shop. So the Jamestown area has actually turned into a pretty fun place to live for, you know, active adults who like to be out and about. This area is also has, um, the Capitol Trail 
the Capitol Trail is a 51 mile bike road that ends up following along Route 5 up here all the way to Richmond. So that's a cycling trail that is absolutely incredible. And I've had multiple clients decide to live in this area specifically for access to that. So this is a really fun, active area. A lot of people here are into biking, kayaking, canoeing, sailing. You can really get into a lot of this water pretty easily. So it's a fun place to live. Now, you're either going to be down Jamestown Road or you're going to be down Route 5. So a lot of good, nice suburban neighborhoods in these areas. Um, you can get luxury waterfront. You can be, you know, there are even some um, in count condos and townhomes are available nearby as well. But a lot of people live here. And then we work our way up and you can get a little further north and get up to Ford's Colony, which is a massive community. It's basically all of this, but a massive golf course community, beautiful, um, you know, homes there tend to start around 500,000, go to a couple million, um, big, beautiful neighborhood there too. And that's gated. So then I might as well just get to our third gated community and that's over route five, really kind of far north before you get to the uh, Chickahominy River right here. And this is governor's land. So golf course, gated community, really just a pure luxury community. Um, see if I can see if they'll let me do this. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. There you go. So pretty nice neighborhood here in governor's land. See if we can't scoot around here a little bit. But you can get on the map yourself and go check this out too and, and go all around. Jeez, got to love Google Maps, right? So let's get out of here. Might as well do this real quick too over in, over in Kingsmill for you. Here we go. So Kingsmill has homes of all sorts of different ages. So it depends on where you end up. I wonder if they're if we can get in there. They may have said no to Google. Yep, I don't think they're going to let us in. Yep, they said no to Google. So <laughs> not surprising. Um, so you can live really anywhere off of Route 31, kind of be in the Jamestown area. That way you're only five, seven minutes away from Colonial Williamsburg. You can get out to Jamestown Settlement, which is really kind of more of like a... Um, a museum than it is anything else. So it's just filled with its tourists and kids on field trips. So um, it's one of those things where you might go to if you live here every few years or your kid is going to go there on their field trips like every couple of years. So we can get into a little bit more of shopping and dining options. So this is Newtown. We have done a whole video on Newtown, um, but this is really the premier shopping, dining, um, you know, and work location for Williamsburg. So every, every attorney, every real estate company, everybody's got an office in here. And then you've, you know, your Barnes and Nobles and Opus nine steakhouse, and you can go throw some axes at Axe Republic. And there's a big movie theater and just Paul's deli, one of my favorites. So you can really be in Newtown here and settlers market is really part of Newtown as well. And this is where you're going to have um, your Michaels and home and home goods and there's Walmart neighborhood market. So, and there's a Trader Joe's right here and you can live in here. There's a lot of housing right here in Newtown. Um, and that's going to take up this whole area. And it's pretty neat because you can see this gap here from William and Mary to Newtown. There are trails, the Matoka trail system run through here. You can theoretically, you can walk. Here we go. You can see the trails right here. You can walk from here and get over to William and Mary campus. And there's a trolley that will take you from Newtown to William and Mary as well. So it's all really well integrated. I think that's one of the things I really love about Williamsburg is how connected the whole region is. And you can work your way up. Um, you get Richmond Road has a lot of really good, um, has a lot of really great restaurants on it. Lots to do there, some tourist stuff too. Um, but then you really, your, your next big shopping area, the Williamsburg Premium Outlets, definitely um, there's there are premium outlets in Norfolk that are really new that are probably better than these. But for this area, these premium outlets are great. A lot of the big 
stores that you know oops, and and some really good restaurants too. Aleworks Brewing Company, fantastic. One of the, probably the oldest brewery in Williamsburg, which is now a very good beer scene. If you're a craft beer person, Williamsburg is a really good spot for you because there are a lot of really good options. There are also, um, I think there's a meadery and a couple of, um, and then there are a couple other places that, that make their own like hard alcohols, a couple like whiskey places. And then you get uh, like places like Oceans and Ale and, and just there's a lot to do throughout the entire region until you kind of get up to this Lightfoot, Norge, Tawano area. So this is really where the population density takes a big step back. Now, a few years ago, they expanded 64. It was a two lane road starting back at the Newport, New, really kind of near the mall. So really back here, it was two lanes. They expanded it to four. So now you can fly through Williamsburg pretty much to about here is I think where it goes back down to two lanes. But you, people used to complain about how bad just traveling to Williamsburg was. When it went from four lanes to two, it was terrible. Now it's four lanes most of the way. And so I, I, I think that this area, um, one, because there's land, there's still a lot of farmland and things here. This area is going to expand a lot over the next 20 years. And we'll start to see Lightfoot, Norge, and Toronto have the same population density as James City County. Or excuse me, as James as the Jamestown area. So this is part of James City County. And right now, there are some really beautiful neighborhoods in these areas, but um, there still is a ton of farmland, and they really still have a very small town feel to them. They're a little out of the way. You'll find that just for people, if you have friends who are in Newport News or Hampton, that is going to be a you know 40 minute drive for them to get up to you. So they tend to tend to not visit as much as you think they would. But um, Norge, fun fun fact about that it is actually pronounced Norgay and it's, it's Norwegian for Norway. And so it was a Norwegian settlement uh, originally. And that has kind of since dwindled down. And of course we did what we do to all words around here and we butchered it. And now it's Norge. So you have Norge and Tawano. Tawano is building up actually a little faster than Norge. And then Lightfoot. Lightfoot is a really great little area. Um, you know, there's this little plaza right here. Um, that has some really nice things in it. There's a Harris Teeter in here. That's a grocery store. It's one of my favorite grocery stores in the area, which I know sounds kind of silly, but um, it's just a really beautiful little spot. And so I could see a lot of people really wanting to make this Lightfoot area their home. So plenty of housing here, all the way down, big, you know, Ford's Colony, that huge neighborhood there. Um, so a lot of opportunities in there. Um, and then down through James City County, then you have City of Williamsburg, a little tighter, and then, um, and of course, historic, and then you have Northern York County. So that's really it. That That is Williamsburg. So if you're looking in this area, depending on where you want to be from a price point or just kind of a general lifestyle, if you're looking for pure suburban, kind of a little bit out of the way, Tawano Norge could be a really good fit for you. If you're looking for a really active, physical, physically active area, you know, maybe down near Jamestown Settlement could be a great spot for you. But, but if you also you want luxury gated community, there are a few options for that too in Kings Mill, Governor's Land, and Ford's Colony. So really just depends on what you're looking for. Um, you know, there are some really special places here. You know, what you really can't go wrong with William and Mary. So I wish I could get you down here onto the courtyard, see what happens when we go here. You know, here's the, I mean, here's campus. It's gorgeous. You know, and a lot of these are old historic buildings. And, you know, you just, you end up with really great, the, uh, one thing I just need to mention, the students that go here are are, are great. You know, whenever we're, we're up in the area, a lot, we're in Colonial Williamsburg, a lot of it's a great place for me to bring my daughter. Um, my wife and I go. We love to go and and let her run around and and we can at the same time enjoy all the history and then grab a grab a drink or a bite to eat and then um, and we might wander through campus and all the kids uh, actually, all the students are are great. We we love them a bunch. So really, just a great group of kids here at at uh, at William and Mary. Um, and great academic institution, one of the best in the country. So you get, you get all of that together. There's tons of dining in Williamsburg, great restaurants and breweries and really good shopping. This, um, 
you know, really nice plazas, this target area over here. So my favorite target right here, if you're a target person, and I think we all are at this point, but this target TJ Maxx, uh, it's a really nice ABC store in there too. So really great plaza here. So you're just going to find housing opportunities no matter where you're looking. And then it just depends on what's really important to you. Where are you commuting to? If you're going to be commuting down to Fort Eustis, maybe you want to try and stay as close to the southern side as, as you can, because 199 can get a little trafficy. Um, because once you kind of get to here, there are just a lot of series of lights. And so it can take a little while to creep your way up here. Um, there are also 355 plus communities in um, in Williamsburg. So if you are looking for a 55 plus active community, we have those options as well. And really doesn't matter what you're really quite looking for. Um, you're going to probably going to find it in Williamsburg. And just a note, housing in Williamsburg relative to the rest of the region is a little on the more expensive side. Now, because there are a lot of luxury homes there, that's going to skew things. But even just if you were to take a home in James City County area and put it down in Newport News in the Denby area, you know, you're probably going to pay $70,000 more to be in Williamsburg. Um, and, you know, and that's just up to you if you find the value there. So that's that's Williamsburg in a nutshell. Really beautiful area. Um, a lot of opportunities to be active. Parks, water, history, tons of history, great shopping, great dining. It's a beautiful area. And I think Honestly, it's, it could be a perfect area for just about anyone to live, um, regardless of where you are, whatever stage in your life. I hope you found today's map tour helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and I'll reply to them as soon as possible. I'll also be sure to leave some links in the description for some of the things that we talked about in today's video as well. Of course, my team and I are on standby waiting to help for when you're ready to make your move to Williamsburg. So give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. We would love to help you out. In the meantime, like this video and then share it with anyone else you know who may be making a move to the Williamsburg area. And then subscribe to this channel as we're constantly making new videos about Williamsburg and everywhere else in Hampton Roads. Again, my name is David Tortellini. I'm with eXp Realty. Thanks so much for watching.